Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to give you just a quick tour of the place where we get all our shrubs from uh, up here in Wisconsin uh, that we use at our garden center and we use on a lot of our jobs. Um, Mike, if you kind of show them out here, the nursery setup. They have just literally thousands and thousands and thousands of them of uh, plants and trees and perennials, shrubs, anything you can imagine. Just field after field of these things, row after row. They have a total of, uh, I guess it's like 400 acres. Trees and shrubs and things like that. Right showing you the sky. A lot of these, a lot of these, these were full when we got here in the spring. And it just shows you how many have been bought already, purchased by guys like me, uh, landscapers that come in here and get this kind of stuff. We get them from the nurseries because these guys grow very good quality material here. It's not like stuff like from down south. I'm just gonna stop up here for a second, but stop the bouncing a little bit. But uh, down south, when you get plants and shrubs that are from there and they bring them up to the northern environment, they look really good for the first you know, six months. But when winter comes, next spring, a lot of those plants don't grow anymore. They die. They're just, they don't come up because they're not used to, they're not hardy in our conditions. They're not zoned for our areas up here. You know, so, but he's, and they'll all come into bloom at all different times. Take a look out here at all the, all the different, different sizes and styles that they have, varieties. Just amazing how how good they are with, with what they do and how they do it. But it's a lot it's very labor intensive. Very labor intensive. But we like to buy from these guys because they do such a good job. They give you good quality stuff at these nurseries. Um, and you gotta watch them, they're not all the same, you know, but these guys are good and all their products are good. They've last, you don't have to worry about them. When we bring them to our garden center and then we resell them to the public, um, you know, these plants are always in such good shape and they winter really good because when when Dave winters these here, they don't, nothing gets put under. Everything gets it's right above ground. Some things they'll, they usually flip them on their side and then they take like these straw piles like this right here. And they take these straw piles and they'll blow that straw on top. Stop. And the reason they do that is because of the freezing, you know. The freezing is our biggest enemy probably here in Wisconsin, you know. Like uh, some of the southern states, the heat is their big thing that they have to deal with. Well, up here the cold is ours, you know, so. But there's a lot of work when they grow them out like this. You know, a lot of weeding, even in the plants themselves, because weeds are airborne, the seeds come from the air. So there's always weeds, there's always something. down this row, look at how cool that looks. Just beautiful. 
these guys are literally sitting on millions of dollars of plant material. And who would have thought you'd make the kind of money that, that you can make selling plants and things like that? That it'd be such a big takeoff for people, you know? People are so interested in horticulture and landscaping and things of that nature. And there's getting to be more and more of a trend of, like that, you know? A lot more people are getting into it, so. Anyway guys, that concludes our little tour of one lot. He has several, but I just wanted to show you guys where we get our stuff from. I thought it was pretty cool. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks and we'll see you later.